Hi girls, welcome to Biotech channel. Today I want to talk about how to draw perfect eyebrows ideal for the face of each of you using a thread. So, first take the thread and pull it out just like a dental floss, which in this case is already soaked with pigment. So, when you handle it, I suggest you use the gloves and roll it around the index, then hold it thick. As a starting point, we arrange the line between the inner corner of the right eye and the inner corner to the left eye. We trace an imaginary line between these two inner angles of the eyes and without moving. Simply, we transfer the thread going upwards, towards the forehead. Our first line must be marked where the growth of the natural hairs of the eyebrows begins and then slowly we go up and trace a second and a third line. They all need to be equally spaced. The second line will indicate the thickness of the eyebrows, while the distance between the second and the third will indicate how much we want these eyebrows to be arched or more flat. In this case, I usually I leave one centimeter between each line, but obviously it depends for face to face. Not everybody looks good with the same eyebrows. The important thing is that these three lines are equidistant. The last line, the highest one, towards the forehead, need to be the longest one and cross from one brow to the other one. This line will indicate the highest point of the arch of the brows. Therefore, do not mark it short. Make a long line from side to side of the forehead. To mark those lines, I carefully swing back and forth with the wear. Now, let's mark a line that goes from the outer wing of the nose to the outer corner of the eye and up to the eyebrow, on one side and the other. This line determines the length of the eyebrows and now from the side of the nose to the inner corner of the eye, on one side and on the other. And this line will determine where our brows will start. I mark the center from the roof of the nose and up. Now it comes the difficult part, which is really easier to do than to explain in words. As you can see, we have created three lines, if we take in consideration only the lower square, the one now indicated. I want to connect the lower left angle with the upper right angle, keep the thread firm and without curving it. Simply mark a long line, this will be the upper line of our brow. Then I will create another line next to the previous one, replicating the same inclination. And we created the ascending body of our brow, the part that goes upwards. I place the thread along the orbicular bone and simply rotate it until I meet the bone. Let's see again. On the other side, cross. I go straight ahead and I have found the top line. At this point on the orbicular bone and make it coincide with the line that marks the ending point of the brow, which we have already found. Then I replicate the same inclination of the top line. This one I'm doing it freehand. I simply have to copy and pass the same adjacent line, then I connect the last two lines. It is really much easier to do than to say. Explaining it in words makes everything seem much more complicated. I hope that watching the video, watching and watching, you see that it's very easy. Before giving the mirror to the client to show her our preparatory drawing, I'm going to remove all these lines that I have traced for take the correct reference points and my guidelines. I leave only the shape of the eyebrows that interest me for the semi-permanent makeup we could also stop here. 
that is we could also show the customer our preparatory drawing just a contour as a perimeter outside of the eyebrows and leave the inside empty this makes our tattooing work a lot easier because we can actually see where we tattoo each single stroke the better we see the more we can be precise during the consultation, the customer wants to already imagine the final result. So for those of you that are a permanent makeup artist, remember that during the consultation, you needed to fill in the brows with a pencil so that the client can imagine how the final result will look like. Just like I'm doing once again, this filling step is optional. Once you are done, you can pass to outline everything with a skin color pencil. This step will emphasize the shape of the brows, making the borders even more defined and visible. So girls, what do you think about this video? Here's the final result. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. And please, subscribe to the channel.